Okay, now on to pickles, but I thought um, I would show you how much our trees are turning. It is getting kind of yellowish out here. Um, but I learned a really good trick for cutting onions. I have to cut onions. I'm making bread and butter pickles. And my trick I learned, because I've made enough salsa and pickles and chow chow and, you know, any you name it. Um, and we have tried, I've tried every trick in the book. My mom always used to say, run cold water on the inside of your wrist if you start crying from onions. And that works. But we've tried, I have, you know, or I should say, I've tried putting, a, um, like a mask on my face. Even putting a, you know, tying a scarf around my face to try to keep the pickle or the onion um, scent or juice or whatever out of my nose or whatever. Well, here's the best way to do it that I learned, and that is to cut them outside. Because I think the air just kind of takes that onion, whatever it is, that makes you cry away. So, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to cut up, slice up all my onions and get my cucumbers ready for bread and butter pickles. Alrighty, so I've got all my onions uh, sliced and there isn't one sniffle coming out of me. So I will uh, start cutting up my cucumbers. Okay, here's some of the pickles and this is about the size you want for bread and butters. And then I'm just cutting off the little nibs on the end because you don't want that. That If you're doing whole pickles, you leave one end on. Like you take off the stem end but leave the other end on. And then I'm just chopping these or cut slicing these into I suppose it's about quarter inch thick eighth inch to a quarter inch and we'll put them with the onions and put some salt on it to get the kind of suck out some of that extra water. After one hour we'll rinse not rinse it up but we'll drain all this off because what this is going to do is take a lot of the water out of the cucumbers and the onions. So after an hour we drain this. Okay, now here's the brine for the bread and butter pickles. And it is four cups of white vinegar, two cups of white sugar, two teaspoons of turmeric, two teaspoons of mustard seed, and two teaspoons of celery seed. And you just boil that for five minutes and then we'll pour, pour it over into the jars over the pickles. In a minute. Here's our pickles waiting for their brine. They've all, they sat for two hours and we drained them at one hour and then drained them again at an hour. And now we just got to put the brine in. Here's our bread and butter pickles, and I got 11 pints from a peck of pickles, or a peck of cucumbers. And um, here's my mom's original recipe. I still use it, but I think I might retire it. I don't want, you know, it's her handwriting. And then I just wanted to show that in the pickles, you can see all the turmeric and the seed, celery seed and the mustard seed. And... Um, we already put one jar in the fridge and they're as crunchy as can be. And that's, you know, the key with any canning is to use the vegetables fresh. You know, if you get it from the farmer's market, get home and just, you know, plan on canning that day, if not the next day. And um, especially with cucumbers, you've got to, they got to be nice and fresh. And if they're a little bit soft, you know, you can cut that part off if there's like a soft end or whatever. And if they're a little slimy, that has to go in the bin bag, the the trash bag. So um, if they're nice and fresh, they'll be nice and crisp. And um, I hope you relished watching the video. Thanks. Bye.